Welcome to Transducer Techniques Video Library, where you can view products and get technical support. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick demonstration on smart plug-and-play IEEE 1451.4 compliant instruments in combination with load cells and our CalTEDS option. All of our smart plug-and-play instruments are CE and Rojas compliant. TEDS, or a Transducer Electronic Data Sheet, is a set of electronic data in a standardized format defined within the IEEE 1451.4 standard, template 33. All of the sensor's calibration information is stored into a small EEPROM located in the connector, or sometimes EEPROM can be installed inside the sensor. This is our DPM3, which is a smart plug and play IEEE 1451.4 compliant meter. One of the great features using the plug and play system is when you plug a load cell into the DPM3, the first thing it does is read the EEPROM in the load cell. Then it automatically adjusts the meter's excitation voltage for the sensor's appropriate value. This is to prevent an overvoltage. This is extremely important due to many miniature load cells have a maximum excitation of 5 volts, and most instruments supply 10 volts. The plug and play feature assures you won't overvoltage and damage your sensor. Here I have a load cell connected without the smart plug and play option. I'll set a one pound weight on the load cell. Notice the meter is reading 0.2 pounds. This means the system is not calibrated. Now let's do the same test with the smart plug and play option. The yellow light on the right hand corner is indicating you have a smart plug and play load cell connected. Let's put that same one pound weight on the load cell. Notice the meter is reading one pound. You're calibrated and ready for use. Now let's take a quick look at our SSI smart sensor indicator. Notice the display shows TEDS. This lets the user know you have a smart plug and play load cell connected. The SSI is also showing pounds, letting the user know the engineering unit you're calibrated in. Now I'll put a one pound weight on the load cell and the display is reading one pound. You can also use a non-TEDS load cell with the SSI. I'll show you that calibration process in the SSI user video. Here we have our SST smart sensor transmitter. The SST does not have a display, so you will need to download our free setup software from our website, transducertechniques.com. I already have the SST setup software installed, and you can see you have six setup tabs for programming. Input and display, scaling, filter, relay alarms, communication, and analog output. I have our smart plug and play load cell already connected. Note the yellow TEDS light is on, indicating you have a smart plug and play load cell connected. I'll now apply my one pound weight. And you can see by the display, you're calibrated and ready for use. The SST has many more features I will show and discuss in the SST user video. I would also like to show you our TEDS reader editor software that can be purchased from our website at transducertechniques.com. This software allows you to read the parameters from the EEPROM and populate the IEEE 1451.4 template 33 from any of the three instruments demonstrated in this video. From the control bar, click meter. Then click read to populate the template. This allows you to edit any of the parameters in the template and write the new parameters to the EEPROM. Or you can save to a file for future reference. Now we'll click on today to change the calibration date. From the control bar, click meter then click on Write to write the new template parameters to the EEPROM. This software was developed for customers that manufacture equipment that requires a system calibration or for customers that have the ability to do their own in-house annual recalibration. Here are just some of the many advantages to having a TEDS plug and play load cell system. Saves time and money due to no programming. Makes interchanging of load cells quick and easy. No more lost calibration sheets simplifies troubleshooting, minimizes or eliminates error and mistakes in scaling and calibration. This concludes our introduction on smart plug-and-play load cell systems.